Hey guys, so real life right here. Yes, those are bibs right there on the floor. I have clothes hanging from the chair. It is what it is. Anyway, let me show you guys real quick. So fairly quickly, we've got Wednesday, Thursday, <laughs> Friday, Saturday, skip Saturday, because this was supposed to get here think sometime last week and it basically got lost and they're sending me a replacement for it but it was a long weekend so skip Monday and now Tuesday so everything is basically finally here I could have filmed this a few days ago but I was just letting the box sit and now it's sat for three days which means I don't have to wipe down the entire box and I can show you guys what's in there Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since you've seen me. I did do a video in my car, but it was impromptu, kind of, you know, in the moment. It wasn't, you know, I wasn't planning on filming. I'm not sorry about my face. I've had like this major breakout for two months. It's finally getting better. I think it was due to very high levels of stress, but I'm kind of back at it, trying to dip my toes in again, you know. it's. It's been rough and some days just picking up the camera and filming is rough. I went into a store for the first time in six months. I don't even do my own groceries. My husband does our groceries and when he comes home with them, I sit down and wipe down every single item to disinfect it and I make sure I wash all the produce as soon as it gets in. Not right before eating it, but as soon as it gets in and then store it. It's been a whole thing. I went for the first time in almost about, like I said, six months and my oldest had gone through a growth spurt my little one actually went through like a mini growth spurt as well and we had an appointment but we had a little while before our appointment so i decided to take a step into target and the, the next day i actually wound up going into walmart not on purpose it just kind of happened we were supposed to go for a hike but I can't remember what we were gonna stop by to get in Walmart, but I decided to go in being that the day before I had gone into a Target. So long story short, I guess it's kind of long already and I wanna jump into this, but um, I had ordered some things online either a Saturday night or a Sunday night around the weekend of like August 30th-ish. And I think the first day I went to the store was the 31st and then again on the 1st. If I'm not mistaken, that's a possibility. I went to Target and I got my daughter a few things because I knew that what I ordered online was going to take a while to get here. Here's what I bought in person. This shirt might look familiar. I have this in a 2T for my little one. And my oldest wanted it so I got it for her because a lot of the shirts she had before quarantine, it was still cold. I just saw a video where a girl said that California doesn't get cold. It does get cold just Southern California does not not like it does in Northern California before quarantine all she had was long sleeves because of the colder weather so I got her a couple of short sleeves it is getting it's still a little hot but it's getting cooler I figured she could throw a sweater over this though and she likes wearing long sleeves all year round but she really wanted this so I picked this one up I also got this one in her size a little bit of the color came off it does look faded originally but even more of the pink see how it like fades out it's a little faded a little bit more of the pink came off because of where the sticker was at but these are all from Target just a regular white tee I have some shirts I had washed them before wanting to show them to you guys a new red piece of clothing got thrown into the wash and some of the stuff came out tie-dyed but I'm thinking maybe I'll buy some like purple dye and tie-dye the items that I'll show you in a moment basically I got this in two other colors one for my little one and one for my oldest it's like a green and blue and then two sweaters as well but they got ruined she's got this this is a 3 t it'll fit her right now though and then it'll fit my oldest later on I ordered this online this is a 2T. I ordered this online in a 4T for my oldest, but then in person I saw it in a 2T, so I got it. There were a lot of things sold out in certain sizes online, especially on H&M, which I did try to get a few things from. I'm getting emails right now um, about things coming back. That looks so red on camera. It really isn't. I want to like turn down the brightness, but it will not work. 
but yes these are actually like a really deep burgundy I'm trying to see if I can show you guys the actual color and then these are black these are both for my oldest these are from Target and I think they were only five dollars each and then I got a small pair mm -hmm. for my two-year-old which mm -hmm. when you compare the two to four year old that's the length wow. difference here are the items so this is the green one mm -hmm. that I think was for her one moment please yeah this is a 3t and it got damaged right there but I'm thinking because it has like a little bit of purple here if I try to do tie-dye it might work out I'll show you guys this blue one let me see I think this one was also for her yes it was for her and it's a little like damaged here as well then the blue sweater was for her also in a 3t they're really nice when it comes to like sweatsuits and stuff we'll just get them from Walmart because each item like each sweater is like four bucks or five bucks this was 12 so I was kind of not stressed but disappointed that it got ruined in the wash and then this one this is the one that gave me the inspiration for the tie-dye because of the way the pink looks here if I were to do some purple or maybe even like a fuchsia color um, oh, it would look it would look good so these are future projects I think each t-shirt was like six dollars and the sweaters were 12 but yes those won't be getting used for now and I've never bought tie-dye so we'll see how that goes that's everything I will be sure to try to show you guys everything that I got online it all came in it took a while because it came like in different packages but I will get that up for you guys I got it second take Let's try to get th through this quickly without having to cut so much out because there was a lot of cutting that was going to be happening because my oldest just kept jumping on in the screen. Anyway, this top, $7.99. All it is is a simple t-shirt. Princesses, this is for my little one. It's a size 2T and in person or in store. I got a 4T for my oldest because she wanted a princess one. $7.99, but in store, I think I got it for $1.80 or under $3. It was on sale. Next item. $10 sweater. My oldest loves blue. She also likes frozen. So I thought this was great. Elsa looks really nice on this. I wish it was either embroidered or actually part of the fabric itself so that she wouldn't fade over time. But that's all right. I got this one for tea. I know I'm going through it pretty quickly, but some people like you to get, you know, I don't know, get to the point. But yeah. 4T and in store I was able to find a 2T some of these things were sold out so I was fortunate to find one um, that they could both wear they don't really wear matching things that very often they do have like the same pajamas but they I don't set them up for them to wear it at the same time but they do have a hoodie in the car that's black with sparkles and they do wear that one when we go out to the beach or something and they need a sweater so yeah I picked one of these up in 2T in store. This one was the 4T one they had online. My oldest has been into Toy Story because of her little sister who loves Toy Story so much. So we've just got this long sleeve shirt from the boys section. I could have sized down because this one seems like it'll be long and if I fold or cuff the sleeves, you won't be able to see Forky and Woody as much. But this was only $9.99. It was from the boys section, but again, I could have sized down. I didn't realize it would be that long. I've got some leggings for her, the durable knee ones. Nice and stretchy, nice and thick. These were only $5. And I like to have some leggings for the house, which she tends to mark up just a little bit more. She's not very messy, but they still get some stains. And then I like to have some just to head out. Whether it be a car ride, a walk, anything, I just prefer to have it separate from the ones that she wears around the house. And then there's this hoodie for my little one again from the boys section I wish I would have sized down because this is gonna be way too big for her like I think My three almost four year old will be able to fit this one So it's got his head as the hood then you've got his arms and his little body and legs price for this one I wish I could find a tag a bit quicker for you guys. I don't think there is a tag I'm not sure if it was ten dollars. I'm not sure I will check and I will put it on the screen if I remember, because you guys know my memory.